Traveling has always been in my heart since I was six. And for me, it's always an investment. I may not gain money from this kind of investment. Well, in fact, I lose money. But I gain so many memories that I could always tell my future family that I have been to places I've never been before and I couldn't be happier than ever. In this first part of Vancouver series, I will take you with me during my journey and how I spent my holidays here in Western Canada. Let's go! Hello everyone, welcome to Vancouver. We just got here at our hotel in the line of the Robson Street and it's very very perfect because it's in the downtown area which is one of the best plus it's accessible for all the foods and stuffs. Welcome to our home for the next seven days. Let's start this room tour with the most beautiful view of the ocean, mountains, and the city center. Welcome to Blue Horizon Hotel. So when you enter the room, the left side is always the bathroom. The bathroom is wonderful. It's so neat. It's so clean. It's not too small, not too big. It's spacious for two people who want to do two things at a time. All of the necessities from towels to toiletries to shampoos and conditioner, they're all here. The best portion for me is always the beds. So this room is a complimentary upgrade hotel room, which is a two bedroom. Originally, we booked a one bedroom. There is also a lounge area with a complimentary coffee and tea corner. There is also vanity and the most exciting and overused part is the TV where we most of the time connect our Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify. I'm currently unpacking some stuff that I have here in my bag. I'm gonna talk about what happened this morning. This morning was insane. If our trip to Alberta is a little bit insane, this is the most insane year ender trip ever. I didn't expect this one to be very hectic and I didn't expect it to be very stressful. I never thought of it as, as stressful, especially now that we have a car. I really thought that it would be very accessible for everything and yeah. Anyways, so what happened to us is that last night was Christmas Eve. As we all celebrate Christmas Eve, I was so busy because the moment it's December 24th, it just suddenly I have work in the morning and the afternoon. Good thing it finished like 3.30 p.m. We went to shop for wines. We went to shop for, we were supposed to have like a steak at Farm Boy, but then they closed at 4 p.m. So we went to Lansdowne Place. We shopped for the steak and of course we shop for some other ingredients for the pasta bought cakes and we celebrated christmas eve together and then we just realized that we had so much things to do we haven't packed yet so that's the number one stressful before our trip and then afterwards we actually finished packing like 1 a.m and then we had a quick sleep which is like two hours sleep which we woke up 3 a.m and i have to drive from Peterborough to Toronto Pearson and it will take like one hour and 20 minutes which is not too bad actually. The bad thing about is when we arrived into the parking lot because there's actually a park go ride whatsoever in Toronto Pearson which is actually like you just have to pay for the daily passes there until you pick up your car so we paid around 200 bucks for that one it's just that we go round and round because we 
we already entered the garage. When we enter there, there's actual confirmation number in our like email, but it doesn't say which parking spot. So we went over again. We went out of the garage. We went over again. We went to arrivals and then we called the customer service. Good thing they answered it at 6 a.m. And then we went over again because they just said to just pick whatever spot you can get. Number three stressful is in the airport because our luggage is actually 27 kilos. It's supposed to be 23 kilos. We over baggaged and we pay $40. We should have gotten carry-on bag instead of getting the over limit. So that what that's why I was thinking when we go home back in seven days, I was planning to just get, get a carry-on baggage because for both of us, it's not enough. It's not enough to have like, um, you know what I mean? Like just 23 kilos, I think because I am an overpacker. He is also an overpacker. We both are overpackers. So that's the reason. I haven't even brought my hair blower, but good thing they have it here. Other than that, everything went smooth. We arrived in Vancouver. We took the Canada Line um, train express to Vancouver downtown or city center. And then we took another bus going to here in Blue Horizon Hotel. And everything here is just very, very nice. I mean, this hotel for me is just massive. And we're on the thir 23rd floor. So, so nice. Just got home from shoppers. We're so disappointed because we couldn't go to Team Hardest because it was sadly closed today. The thing about my skincare is that I all forgot to bring them. So what happened is that we went to shoppers and got myself even even my conditioner and shampoo and everything. All of my essentials I left it back home. So I went there, I just purchased a Cetaphil. This is the cheapest one. And I was saying I don't want to buy something like bigger CeraVe. It's costly and it's just not, you know, for me, it's just seven days. I can have this $5 Cetaphil. I know, I'm so quirky, but.
Hello, hello. I have to come back because we forgot the tripod. We need to take photos of our outfits. Today is finally the first day here in Vancouver. By the time this will be up, it will probably be 2024. I'm actually not, you know, editing videos as of the moment because I want to cherish and I want to be at present here in our vacation. We actually went downstairs and already walked to the bus station. Then he forgot to spray his perfume. I forgot the tripod and the other camera, which we really need because it's a very unique aperture one point for so we need that one for both of our photos and today we're heading to vancouver lookout and the moon and back gallery i'm excited for this one i've been searching for this one for how many months now and i hope we will not be disappointed with this gallery it's kind of like warm warmer than uh, toronto feels so different because our coats are for winter and it doesn't feel like winter at all it feels like fall it's 10 degrees or 9 degrees and it's hot Anyways, let's start our day and let's go to our first agenda of the day. Outfit check! Wearing my boots with this leg warmer and... Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We are looking for the Vancouver lookout. I cannot find it. That's a CF. I think so. Or here? I don't know. so black.
second day. And it's our last birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Today we are heading to Capilano suspension, but before that we're heading to the mall because we're checking out something. And then we're having lunch and then the Capilano and then we're going to a restaurant that offers unlimited lobster and crab. So I'm so excited about it and yeah get the day going. Fit check, I'm wearing an off shoulder, but it doesn't seem like an off shoulder now. And my leather pants from H&M, the usual shoes from Skechers, and my Zara coat, my coach bag. Happy birthday with the new phone. Oh, this safe to see. guy from an island noodles. We just arrived here in Canyon Lights here in Capilano Suspension Bridge. We came here from a complimentary bus ride from the Blue Horizon Hotel. So when you have a ticket here in the Canyon Lights, there are three routes where the free buses or bus ride passes by, which are number one, the Canada Place, number two, the Hyatt Regency, number three, the Blue Horizon Hotel, which has always been our advantage. But make sure to head out to their website to see this full schedule of the buses because sometimes they don't pass by Hyatt Regency or stop by Blue Horizon Hotel. As expected, due to the holidays, there's a jam-packed of people in the tourist spot and it's congested, like literally. I was even afraid of the bridge falling out as it gets heavier and heavier, but it's all in my imagination, of course. Coming a little chilly, so the perfect way to roam around and see the lights is to buy and drink your hot drinks at this store called The Cabin. This is when you have already passed by the bridge. They have a lot of snacks and hot drinks. So I got myself hot chocolate while Arlen got himself his hot cappuccino and it's so perfect for the weather. 
highlight of this attraction is always the canyon lights. There's so much more to see. There's so many lights. I really love it, especially if it's nighttime because you can really appreciate the lights. It since it's getting darker and our schedule is to celebrate Arlen's birthday and we're planning to go home early today because we are going to a restaurant, a seafood restaurant that we haven't tried before but we discovered it's also available in Toronto so that's where we're heading for dinner. And again, there are no tickets for the buses. The buses are free with designated stops on the website. Hello, hello. Just got home. So today is actually kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but this morning we went to get our phones from Fido, which is we've upgraded from iPhone 12 for me, 13 Pro Max for Arlen, and to iPhone 15 Pro Max. And then as we finished it, we actually went for a lunch at Horin. Horin is one of the Japanese restaurants that we actually noticed that there's a lineup, massive lineup. There's It's just unbelievable because their ramen are so, so good. And then in the afternoon, we went to Capilano Suspension Bridge. It was so fantastic. There are so many beautiful lights and so so beautiful time check is actually 5 29 we're actually planning to go to burnaby because there's this unlimited seafood restaurant for 98 dollars i think they're up until december 31st if i'm not mistaken it's just that it's very far so we were thinking of going to captain Boyle's for dinner for arlen's birthday dinner it's actually a seafood restaurant i know it's very familiar it is very familiar it's white Widely available here in Canada for sure in US and I'm so excited to eat seafoods. Vancouver is actually known for its seafoods because this is one of the provinces or one of the cities here in Canada where it has been surrounded by ocean with the sea. Unlike in Toronto or in Ontario, we are surrounded by lakes, so many lakes including Alberta, Saskatchewan, 